Uh, what's in here? Okay, the basement's down there. How do I get that dog away? That dog has something I need. What do you have? Oh, you, I bet you have a doorknob. It looks round. I bet you anything that's what you have. But I'm not gonna get close to you because I don't want to get attacked again. <laughs> Eating the dog first seems like a good plan. Oh, okay, hold on. The kitchen's over here. Okay. Um... Is there dog food in here? There's gotta be something in here I can give the dog. It's locked. It can be open with a common key. I bet you the dog food's in there. <laughs> I can give the dog some shit. Was there something upstairs that I missed? Maybe I missed something upstairs. Go in here. Oh shit! Oh shit! Let me out, let me out, let me out. I don't know of any hiding spots up here. I'm just gonna go downstairs. Okay, I think I'm good. I was wondering how often I'm gonna see him. Okay, it looks like all I gotta do is just, like, lose him. And I'm good. He gives you time to run away, though. That's good. It's not like stay out of the house where he's constantly on your ass. So the killer's just gonna be in random rooms, it seems. Let me go back upstairs in that room again. Hopefully he's not gonna be there. February 15th, Uncle Bob was washing his truck in our backyard yesterday, which is strange as he usually gets it waxed and washed in town. When I looked closer, it became clear why. The, the front of the vehicle was a complete mess. The front bumper was hanging off, the radiator grill had some major denting, and to top it off, both were covered in blood and what looked like small chunks of something stuck under the gaps. Uncle Bob would complain for days if the truck gets even a scratch on it, but he never mentioned it even once, and no one in the family brought it up during dinner. The shit isn't funny anymore. I was bringing the laundry basket down to the basement to load the washing machine, and I noticed the entry to the laundry room had been blocked off by a bookshelf and the washing machine disconnected. When I tried to push the bookshelf to the side, it wouldn't budge an inch. I politely asked everyone for a reason, and all they do is ignore me. Every single day, they ignore me. It's been weeks of this silent treatment bullshit. Is this some sick joke I don't know about? I've forgotten the last time I've had a good night's sleep. I hear the radio almost every night now, as everyone gathers around and listen until the early hours of the morning. I snuck down to get a peek at them, but as I got closer, I stepped on a loose floorboard. Suddenly, their heads turn and look at me at the same time, like a pack of wolves spotting their next prey. They all invited me to join them as I stood frozen in fear. I was shaking so bad, but I managed to refuse them and go back to bed. What's happening to my family? I'm not going crazy. Something is wrong with them. First, it was Aunt Mary, and now everyone has lost their fucking minds. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I fear what will happen if they catch me snooping around, but I have to try something. I just need to wait for the right time. It's something about that, that little radio that they're messing with. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit. Shit. Get me out, get me out, get me out. Fuck off. I gotta go down to the basement anyway, so I'm just gonna run downstairs. I'll just hide in here until the sound goes away. Okay. I'm good. I knew that creaking was getting closer. Let me go down to that basement. Let me go down here real quick and see if there's anything I can find. I don't want to, but there's shit down here I need to get. Oh, here's a key. Found a common key. Uh, alright. The hiding spot down here, that's good. Water pipe. Water is not flowing. I need a valve to restore the flow. I'm sure I'll find it in one of the rooms. Okay, so I got a key. Let me go to the kitchen real quick. I'm gonna, that's going to be my first point of action. It's going to go open that drawer. Okay. Let me use the key on this. Is there dog food in here? What is that? It's a jug in here. You got a jug. What the fuck am I going to use that for? <laughs> Can I throw it at the dog? I'm confused, but I'm going to use... Oh, oh, I thought that key was just a one-time use. All right, never mind. I for real thought that key was a one-time use. Okay, awesome. So I can unlock all the cabinets with this. Another bandage. I know there's some downstairs. Let me go back down there. Okay, here's a locked one right here. Yes, search it. Ah, oh, there's some food. I can't have dog food. My pockets are full. Okay, I gotta go back to the toolbox. That's awesome. I will say the killer is pretty easy to escape. But that's good. I like that. I, I, I don't like when it's they're like up your ass the entire time. Like stay out of the house, which I still need to finish. Uh, bandage. I can throw a bandage in there. I got hit once. I don't... I, I'll keep one on me just in case, but I don't need two of them. All right, so now I can go back down to where I was and grab that uh, can of dog food. Yes, give it to me. Thank you. Hey, doggies in here. Hey, buddy. I know you're mad at me. But here's some dog food. Maybe we can make amends. All right, here's your bowl full of slop. There you go. Yeah, you like that shit, don't you? Uh, looks like a doorknob. Yep, give me that. Oh, he's happy now. All right, so I can go back upstairs now without getting caught, hopefully. Oh, there's an upstairs area. Okay, hiding area, cool. Oh, another VHS tape. Nice. Gives you plenty of those. I like that. Okay, another uh, cabinet. Uh, another bandage. Pockets are full. Okay. That's good to know. Anything back here? Oh, a uh, valve. Nice. I can use this to restore water flow. Pockets are full. Put some stuff in my toolbox. Okay. What's in here? I'm gonna check what's in this room first. Oh! Room code. Wrong combination. Okay, I gotta find a room code too. Um, 
I bet you anything that radio is going to give me the room code. Shit, shit. No! He's going to, he's going to get me. No, 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 no. Fuck off. I need to heal. Okay, I feel better now. Good. I don't know how many times I need to be hit in order to die. But I'll just do that to be safe. Yeah, I need a room... Stop. I need a room code, and then what else did I need? I completely forgot. Oh, the valve. Okay. I need to go back upstairs and uh, dump some stuff off. I should be good without saving for a minute. I will say, if when I get that valve, I'll probably go ahead and save. Valve is over here. Yep. Grab that. All right. Let's go put this valve down here. Uh, tab... Go. There's the valve. Uh, waterfall has been restored. Good. The jug. I have a jug that needs to be filled with water, I think. I just need to make sure he's not going to come up and hit me. When I go back up these stairs. Maybe I have to put out the fire. That might be why I need to fill up the jug with water. Oh, let me save. Let me actually save real quick. I got two more tapes, so I should be fine. Awesome. Okay, so if I die, I'm not really worried. Let me grab the jug up here for my toolbox. Jug. I might keep a bandage on me just in case. I think I gotta fill up the, the jug with water in the kitchen. Okay, you got a fill jug. Let me go to the, uh, let me go to the fireplace now. Fireplace, can I use it on this? Yep. I knew it. Uh, there's a hidden button here. Press it. I wonder what this button did. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe something in the basement. Is it something down here? Oh, a door. There we go. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh, for the family, cut limbs, put in refrigerator. For Daisy, remove bones, grind, put in cans. For for it, remove organs, throw in the pit. Remember to bring the clothes and belongings to the backyard so we can burn it all. Okay. Whatever it is, it's down here, I would assume. I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. I don't want it to end this way. All right, I think I still got my key. I do. So let me, let me see what's in here. What is that? Oh, the, for the little lockbox upstairs. There's a hexagon symbol here. Yeah, I got that. So I can go back upstairs. Ooh, a VHS tape. Uh, there's another VHS tape there. That's good. So I know of two VHS tapes in two different locations here and upstairs. Uh, let me go put it in that bedroom upstairs. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm gonna die. No, 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 no. No. Let me out. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go. Holy shit. I gotta heal after this. Holy fuck. Let me in, let me in, let me in. What the fuck? Why is it locked? What the fuck? Let me heal. Okay, good. I'm gonna die. Why is it locked? What the fuck? Dude, what the hell? No, come on. Oh, was a, okay, hiding place, hiding place. Why was that hiding place locked up? What the fuck happened? That was really bad. That was almost, I almost died there. I'm assuming the killer locked the hiding place. At least I'm in the room I need to be in right now. What's in here? Clock hand. I don't think I've heard, have I heard anything about a clock? I don't think I have. Must lead to the sewers. I need a rope if I want to go down there. Um, is there a rope over here? There's gotta be a rope in here somewhere. Dog's still eating. The dog's been eating for like half an hour. So there's four things I gotta do right now. I need a rope to get down to the sewers. The radio I need to mess with still. And then I have a clock hand. So, I gotta figure out what the fuck to do there. Maybe what I should do, I'm gonna go to the kitchen. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the kitchen and I'm gonna mess with that radio and see what I can do. That might reveal some numbers for me. Whoa, 1270. What the hell? Is there any other ones? 1490. It's like, it sounds like some kind of like alien or something. 1610. They gave me a few numbers there that I can work with on that, on that, uh, door code. Let me go upstairs. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, shit. Get away from me. Fuck off. Fuck off. No, 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 no. No. Fuck off. He's coming upstairs. I'm gonna hide for a second. Okay, I got some numbers to work with from that radio, so I'm gonna try that. God, this noise is so loud. Let me go over here real quick and try to work with this and see if there's any codes I can put in. 127. Two. Seven. Wrong combination. Oh! 161. Zero kilohertz. That was one of the frequencies I wrote down. Maybe I have to go to that frequency on the, um, on the radio. Let me go back down there and go to that frequency. See if it tells me some numbers. Again, without getting killed. Oh, there's like, there, hold on, there's buzzing.
Oh, okay, 267. There was a certain amount of times there was, it was buzzing. Two, six, seven. Yep, there it was. What is that, rope? Yes, okay, cool. Got the rope, so I can go back down to the basement. Which I got two more tapes, so I think I should be... I think I should be fine. I think I'm doing pretty good so far. This guy kind of appears out of nowhere sometimes. It makes it very inconvenient, but that's the point, of course. Okay. Rope. There we go. Can I go down now? It's pitch black. I should bring my flashlight before I go down. Yeah, I got it on me, so let's descend. Oh, shit. Alright. Well, he didn't like that. Then it's not the end of the game, is it? Nope. Okay, good. Yeah, I got a bandage. That's good. I, I, I'm i glad I kept the bandage on me. Ah, oh, shit. I think my shoulder is broken. That was closed. I need to get out of this place and find help. Yeah, I got a bandage. No worries. It must be full of bacteria from the fall. Of course it is. I'm unsure about using this right now. Of course. Please don't let this be a maze. Okay, this, this area is blocked off. I think this area is blocked off, too. Oh, no, it's not. There's a ladder. Uh, ladder must lead to the outside of the house. Let's climb it. Did he fix my car at least? Oh, it's the police. Hey, kid. Are you lo- Jesus Christ, what happened to you? They- I hate them. They wanted me too. But I got away. What are you talking about? Who are they? Who did this to you? The, the Tuckers. Tucker Farm. They're crazy. Shit, this doesn't look good. Get in the truck. I gotta get you to the hospital. Imagine he just takes me back to the house. Can you keep pressure on the wound? Yeah, yeah. I think. Just relax. Here. I'll turn on the radio. You're safe now. No. Alright. Well, that was the end of the game. Roaming the house and figure out, like, what items go with what and, like, what you're supposed to do was not very hard at all. Again, I chose the easiest difficulty because I'm a little baby. Usually I'm wary about games like that that have a lot of chores to do when someone's chasing you, but this one I think did it right. Granted, if I did this on the harder difficulty, I bet you my opinion would change on that. I did like this game though. It was it was pretty fun. I'm kind of wondering if I'm going to get my car back though.